Hello guys. Nice meeting you. I am Professor Sanani Cabello. It's good to have you all here. Well, all it's only three students I have this semester. But what? It's okay for me. It's okay for you. Uh, I'm going to be your teacher, or I am your teacher of this topic. Topics socioculturales in español. And in English, we have sociocultural topics of the English-speaking countries. Basically, this subject is about the importance of teaching culture in the EFL classroom. Remember that you are studying, I'm telling you this because some students forget. Remember, we are studying or you are studying for the English teacher, okay? You are not taking an English course, you're going to be teacher. So the thing is, the point here is that you need to know the hints to improve your practice. In class, in the classroom. Uh, so one of the things that we know when we're learning or when we're teaching, when we are teaching uh, um, foreign language, is that when we learn a different language, we are learning about the cultural aspects of the country where that language is spoken. In this case, we are speaking about English, that is the most uh, universal language in the world. There are many, many countries which have English as, a, as an official language. So uh, this subject is about it, the importance of including in your classes cultural hints, cultural aspects for making your class more real, for making your class more functional. And uh, you can rely on the cultural practice of the cultural aspects to enrich the activities which can be designed for your students. So uh, the first topic, of course, and I'm going to, sorry, I didn't, I didn't share my, my screen. Okay, um, I'm going to share my screen for you to watch a uh, presentation. Uh, I think you're watching. I don't have the show. Okay. Uh, the first topic of this subject is the teaching of culture. Okay. Uh, there are. I'm. I'm going to send this presentation to you. Okay. So, uh, we have that knowing. Uh, when we are, as I, as I was telling you, when we are um, teaching a foreign language, uh, we are getting close to the culture of the people who natively speak this language. So it is very important because we are, through language, remember that we create and we transmit many things. Uh, language is the medium for the thoughts, values, and habits of the people who speak that language we are teaching. So um, what happens in English? That English is spoken in many, many countries. The question is, are there variations from one country to another uh, besides the variants of British English and American English that are the most famous, you know? But there are different countries who speak English. So in this subject, you are supposed to learn more things. You know, uh, generally this, sub this subject has more than 10 students. So each student takes one country for telling everything or everything that is included in the program about the country they select. So what is the dynamic of the subject? You're going to select one country different from England and different from United States uh, for learning about the cultural aspects of that country you select. So we have many choices. And, uh, and you're going to choose during the whole subject, you're going to speak about the country. In, in each unit, you're going to explain or you're going to share with us different things about the country you selected, all right? So uh, basically, I look, for example, here in this presentation, you're watching uh, the idiomatic expressions. Some idiomatic expressions that are used in the, in the, in different countries, right? So we have the Ireland, Scotland, USA, 
uh, Canada, Australia. I'm going to start this presentation. I'm telling you what you're doing. So, uh, so here we are going to study the cultural competence. But first, of course, you are going to make a review of all the competence uh, we have to learn as English teacher or as teacher in English teacher. So, guys, that's all for me about this. I'm going to share this presentation with you in a, in a file I'm going to send to the WhatsApp group. But by group. Um, but remember, you can uh, contact me in the and the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to stop sharing. Stop sharing and uh, actually, no. And uh, well, let's go for 